Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the fourth week of November 2021. Musician Philip Margot died November 13, 2021 at a Los Angeles hospital. He died of a stroke at the age of 79. He sang baritone and played percussion with The Tokens, who were best known for their 1961 hit, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Margot is also being remembered as a producer, whose work can be heard on songs including One Fine Day and Knock Three Times. Actress Bergen Williams died July 20, 2021, of Wilson's disease at the age of 62. News of her death was released in November. She was best known for her role on General Hospital. She played Big Alice, the longtime maid for the Quartermain family. Williams is also being remembered for appearances on The Drew Carey Show, Scrubs, and Nip Tuck. Playwright Ed Bullens died November 13, 2021, at his home in Roxbury, Massachusetts. He died of complications of dementia at the age of 86. He was one of the leaders of the Black Arts Movement, which elevated Black voices in the 1960s and 70s. He is being remembered for plays including The Taking of Miss Janie and In the Wine Time. Bullens was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the 1950s aboard the aircraft carrier Midway. Songwriter Dave Frischberg died November 17, 2021, in Portland, Oregon, at the age of 88. He composed the schoolhouse rock classic I'm Just a Bill, along with other songs for the educational series. He is also being remembered for songs he wrote for himself and other artists, including Bernie the Attorney, Van Lingle Mungo, and Peel Me a Grape. Frischberg was a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. Businessman Peter Buck died November 18, 2021, at a hospital in Danbury, Connecticut, at the age of 90. He co-founded Subway, helping build it from one sandwich shop to the world's largest restaurant chain by number of locations. Buck is also being remembered for his other career. He was a nuclear physicist before co-founding Subway, and he continued that work even after the chain became successful. Actor Art Lafleur died November 17, 2021, of Parkinson's disease at the age of 78. He was best known for beloved baseball movies. He played Babe Ruth in The Sandlot and Chick Gandal in Field of Dreams. Lafleur is also being remembered for playing the Tooth Fairy in two installments of the Santa Claus series with Tim Allen. Actor Peter Aykroyd died in November 2021 of an untreated abdominal hernia at the age of 66. He was a cast member and writer for Saturday Night Live, and he was the brother of SNL star Dan Aykroyd. He is also being remembered for roles in movies including Dragnet and Coneheads. Musician Billy Hinchy died November 20th, 2021, of cancer at the age of 70. He was a longtime touring member of the Beach Boys, playing keyboards and rhythm guitar as well as singing. Hinchy is also being remembered as a member of the pop band Dino, Desi, and Billy, alongside Dino Martin and Desi Arnaz Jr. Voice actor Will Ryan died November 19, 2021, of cancer at the age of 72. 
His many voice roles include Petrie in The Land Before Time and Digit in An American Tale. Ryan is also being remembered for voicing characters in The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin, The Little Mermaid, Adventures in Odyssey, and more. Professor Justice Rosenberg died October 30th, 2021, at his home in Rhinebeck, New York. He died of complications of a broken hip at the age of 100. News of his death was reported in November. He was a Holocaust survivor, a native of Poland who worked with the French resistance to help many refugees escape Nazi Europe. He is being remembered as a hero who faked appendicitis, even undergoing surgery, for a chance to escape a concentration camp. Rosenberg was a U.S. Army veteran who worked as a guide and an interpreter. Writer Robert Bly died November 21, 2021, at his home in Minneapolis at the age of 94. He was known for his book, Iron John, a book about men, and for the mythopoetic men's movement, which he helped launch. He is also being remembered for his poetry. He was the first poet laureate of Minnesota. Bly was a U.S. Navy veteran who served during World War II. Musician Slide Hampton died November 18, 2021, at his home in Orange, New Jersey, at the age of 89. He was a jazz trombonist who won two Grammy Awards and played with greats including Maynard Ferguson and Art Blakey. Hampton is being remembered as a jazz master, the highest honor in jazz bestowed by the National Endowment of the Arts. Actor Joey Morgan died November 21, 2021, at the age of 28. He was best known for his debut film, the 2015 horror movie Scout's Guide to the Apocalypse. Morgan is also being remembered for movies including Flower and Compadres. On November 21, 2021, six people were killed when a vehicle drove into a holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Their names are Tamara Durand, Wilhelm Hospel, Jane Kulich, Leanna Owen, Virginia Sorensen, Jackson Sparks. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the tragedy at the 2021 Waukesha Christmas Parade. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Blair County Corrections Officer Rhonda Russell. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of Baxter Springs Firefighter Lt. Malachi Brown, who was injured while battling a structure fire and later succumbed to his injuries. Flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of Independence County Sheriff's Deputy Frank Ramirez, who died in a one-car accident as he responded to an emergency call. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of Maricopa County Sheriff's Lieutenant Chad Brackman. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, Actress Florence Henderson died of heart failure at the age of 82. Fifteen years ago this week, jazz singer Anita O'Day died of cardiac arrest at the age of 87. Thirty years ago this week, rock music superstar Freddie Mercury died of bronchial pneumonia resulting from AIDS at the age of 45. Musician Dr. John was born 80 years ago this week. 
He died in 2019 of a heart attack at the age of 77. Comedian and actor Rodney Dangerfield was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2004 of complications from heart valve surgery at the age of 82. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.